did you play this role? How did you deliver this role so perfectly? I loved it. Now you know how I did. Oh, hi. I'm Ella. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 I'm really excited to share this with you because it is what helps me when I'm acting. There is no magic to acting. This person is, is not using this person is not using magic to act. That person is not using magic to act. That person is not using drugs to act. That person is not. It's just you. It depends on you. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys hints on good acting. I'm going to be telling you hints on how I act personally like how i deliver personally okay so my dear brothers and sisters please first of all you have to understand and study your script stop doing deadline things your director or your scriptwriter or your pm and production manager gives you a script two days before three days before a week before please Calm down and study your script so you will not go that day and be embarrassing yourself. I've learned this over time. Before me, I used to do it. I won't lie to you. I used to do it a lot. And then I used to miss my lines and mess up with my lines. But as time went on, I was like, what's the point? This is just like giving myself a headache. So immediately I'm giving my script. I study it immediately. Immediately. Like I study it and then I understand my character. You should be able to understand your character. Put yourself in your character shoes. If you're playing the role of a mad person, see yourself as a mad person for that period of time. Like I explained in my last video, acting is temporarily impersonating a character to pass across a message. The audience believes that what they are watching is real. So you have to prove to them that it is real and it happens, okay? So, I've told you to study the script, understand your character, and put yourself in the shoes of that your character, my dear. You can't just go, okay, I'm acting my person. Because my person's hair is scattered, my hair, as my hair is scattered, my dress is anyhow, anyhow, then that's it. No, the mad person is you, not your clothes, okay? The clothes is just Jara. The mad person clothes is just Jara. The main thing the audience wants to see is you, your expression, the way you react, your interactions with everything, okay? So, personally, I'll prefer if I'm playing a character and my name is Amina. I'll prefer you call me Amina from the beginning of that filming to the end of the filming. It makes me, you know, it puts me into shape. Okay, I'm Amina. Amina is a cool person. Amina, you have to sit down, define your character. Is my character rugged? Is my character quiet? Is my character peaceful? Is my character stubborn? You have to be able to... Then you can also align your character with... Oh my, there's a friend of mine, what she does. She aligns her character to an animal. Okay, we know that a lion is proud is the king of the jungle so if she's given a proud part or she's given a proud a part to dominate she's going to align herself with a lion and see the characteristics of a lion and then put it into her so whenever she walks in she knows that everybody clears for her so that's basically it so if it's going to be if it's, if it's god if it's going to help you then you could also align your character with the animal that goes well with your character. Okay? So, number three. As a mad person, eh? Imagine what a mad person goes through. Like, I mean, the character. Hmm? You're playing. You're playing a mad person's role. Imagine what the person goes through. Imagine how the person walks. I'm sure most of us have we have our phones we could also always google we could always google and see the features of the mad person this is a mad person is not mentally stable you should know this the mad person does this does this so know it and no peace <laughs> know it and no peace <laughs> so you should be able to you know study your character 
imagine what your character goes through and let it reflect your imagination should reflect physically okay so i imagine that i'm a quiet person which always get intimidated so when i'm thinking okay you always get intimidated i see somebody that is wearing the final shoe than me i'm looking and i'm like That should not go back home and change my shoe. You see, so now that is an example of what I'm talking about. I imagined it and then it showed on me physically. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to do. Imagine your character, always have a vivid picture of what your character does or your character displays, and then bring it out physically to feed your audience that is what see your most important priority is your audience you must pass a message okay on set do not even say somebody is looking at me i'm playing a mad role no 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 it is your audience you're supposed to be bothered about okay what i just did now do my audience understand oh yes they do all right so i'm going to be telling you guys something i played a role of a sassy character and I started getting messages from my Instagram. I started getting messages like, you're so sassy, I hate you. And I'm like, whoo I played my role well, baby. So I was happy because, you know, I played my role well and that is why they are telling me I am sassy. So at first though, I was like, oh, this people don't understand. But then I was like, oh, thank God because I played my role well, I delivered well, that was what I was giving to deliver and I did it well. So that's what my audience understood, okay? So the next thing you should know, or the next hint you should know is that, please be in character, please be in character before you hear action. Be in character before you hear action. If you know that you cannot easily switch Please be in character before you hear action. Some people basically, when they come on set, they don't talk to anybody because they've already read their script, they've already meditated on it, they've already... Okay, I'm being given the character of a quiet person. I have to stay quiet. Okay. And we know that a quiet person looks at the environment a lot, so we have to like... And then come back. Okay so you have to be in character before you hear action i hope you guys enjoyed this short video about hints on acting and i hope you guys will practice it i hope you guys will practice I hope you guys will practice i'll be so happy if you guys do and get good results so please if there's any question you want to ask you could always ask in the comment section i'm always free to answer as usual so thank you very much for watching the video please subscribe like share comment and please hit the notification bell below so you could also be getting updates from me anytime i post thank you very much till my next video thank you